Hello guys, and welcome to the first episode of my finale tutorial, sponsored by the Adam Sullivan Music Theory blog. If you have never seen this blog before, go ahead and go pull it up and take a look around. I normally post stuff about once a week, so feel free to look around and keep an eye out. And if you don't want to um, keep checking in all the time, I have a Facebook fan page for people to join and a Twitter account for people to follow in which I tweet somewhat often on it. Alright, now let's go ahead and start getting to work. Alrighty, so let's start by opening up Finale. First you would click on either the desktop icon, if you have a desktop icon, or if you have like me on Windows 7, click on the button down here. Now we have that wonderful splash screen and then we open up the launch tutorial. If this for some reason has not opened up and you get this page, run over here to file and then launch window. And then you get to where we're at now. Now we have these little sections here. Create new music, open existing music, customize finale, and then we have this little section over here for different start quick start menu tutorials and then the tip of the day, which usually has some interesting stuff in it. I've actually learned a couple of tricks out of out of here and what I've been taking in my class. So let's break this down um, unit by unit. First we have our create new music in which we can go with a couple of different options here. The setup wizard is what we'll use first and that leads us to the little startup wizard and it gives us a way to set up if we wanted to do SATV or soprano alto tenor bass for those who aren't in choir. You can have brass, you get jazz, concert band, all sorts of stuff except for these last two which is what I've been arranging with. And now back to the menu. We have our default document which is what we'll be learning about how to use later on. Our templates which have come in handy for me for the past couple of weeks. You get these templates for just generic orchestra or generic stuff or if you want to do education templates which has helped me a lot I'll go for a tutorial on how to use all of these we go back into here or if you want to use the shortcut that was listed you can use the shortcut there we can go with the scanning and for those who have a scanner that you can use you can start by scanning a piece of music into finale but I don't recommend you use anything that wasn't already cre created on a file similar to finale because it ends up making you edit more than you have to. And then the exercise wizard, which is good for people who have smart music. So now let's go ahead and just go use the shortcut Control Shift N to launch this window back up and start with the setup wizard. The setup wizard, like I said before, you get a list, a nice little list of po um, possibilities for you to arrange with, and then you have a way to set up the do the document as in different fonts, like engraved font. You get a handwritten font, and it goes with each of the different setups. So let's say, for example, uh, let's just do SATV. Say we wanted to do SATV. And you don't have to select any of these, you can set it for their default. But let's just say for example we wanted to, we'll click Maestro. Just just because. Now you can edit the different um, page sizes down here. Or you can set it to portrait or landscape. For people who like writing in jazz music when you have a lot of, not necessarily a lot of parts, but you have, they have to be able to see along the distance. You can set it up in the landscape, you can edit the size of the paper that it's on, or you can set it up so that you can pull it up in a, um, um, a tablet. If you have like an iPad, you can set it up so that you can put it up in a, some kind of tablet, and then just different ways of doing it. And if you have a arrangement, say for example I have my, uh, let's, just, let's just go and create a new ensemble for now, just in case you wanted to do this. Now we go back into this wizard, which it would have been jumped if you were to select a thing before. You can have blank staff if you wanted to create just blank staff paper for something like a, like for example you have a music class and you need um, sheet music. 
you can go here. Now we got keyboards. So you got piano, harpsichord, organ, accordion, electric piano, synth pads, all that wonderful stuff. Voices, soprano, alto, tenor, baritone, bass, vocals, mezzo sopranos, yodels, beatbox. If you like beatboxing. Now we go into woodwinds, piccolo, flute, oboe, English horn, which is actually not English, it's French. The clarinets in different tunings, or different common tunings, and then clarinets, all that good stuff. Brass, you know, trumpets, in traditional tuning, or let's see, flugel horns for those of you who like that music. You have to go back to strings, you know the traditional string section, violin, viola, cello, bass, and then they extend it to use all these different instruments. Ooh, fiddle. Let's see. Pluck strings would be harp, guitar, electric bass, electric guitar, all that stuff. Tabatures for people who like writing music but don't like writing it in Say for example you like writing music with um, guitar music with tabs and you don't know how to read this is the second layer you could go in with the say oh I want guitar and it's like I don't know how to read guitar music but I know how to read tabs so you can add tabs and then type in everything with the tabs and then do a trick called copying and then pasting it into the upper upper line and it'll give you the music so you can read it read the regular music so remove Percussion, be timpani, mallets, bells, chimes, glockenspiel, xylophones, all this good stuff. And drums is a snare drum, bass drum, quads, and a whole bunch more. And then finally, general percussion, which is what you would pro more commonly see in a full orchestral or full symphonic orchestra piece plus some more a whole lot more <laughs> alrighty so let's say for example I didn't like the way the they didn't have something I liked so let's write a piece for I don't know trumpet um cello Let's pick a woodwind. Let's say we don't we don't need a another really high voice to go with that. So we'll say we'll say clarinet. Is it make it clarinet and A? And then finally, let's finish this off with a bass guitar. This is electric bass. And let's throw in the heart, just you know, just because. Now you see, it came in in order that would be more traditional to um, the way it's set up down here in the bottom under orchestral. You can set it up for different settings. So orchestral, qu choral, concert band, marching band, jazz band, or custom, in which you can use these arrows over here on the side to move it around. So say I want my trumpet, since my trumpet's the lead. It needs to be on top, and the bass needs to go at the bottom, but not before the harp, because our harp is to works for the piano part, and it should be near the bottom. Alrighty, then you can choose to save this as a new ensemble by entering the name, and then it'll save it automatically. Or if you wanted to use it for this one time, you can just click next. So let's do that. Now we come up on this little screen. Setting up the score, you can set up, let's see, the title, let's see, let's just try Tutorial 1. The subtitle for, in this case, we'll just type in something, let's see, a medley, Ooh. let's see, how about a song for an unusual Group, or a song for an unusual arrangement. I think I spelled that. No, I didn't. Arrangement. Now you go to the composer. If you were to do 
say for example you wanted to rewrite a, a song that had already been written you could go composer and then put your name as the arranger or if you're doing like this you can just type in your own name which y'all know ah, I can't spell my own name that's kinda sad Sullivan arranger you just leave, if you don't have something to put it in then you can just leave it blank and it it'll won't pull up in a minute lyrics we don't have lyrics copyright uh, use my what I call my traditional music blog and then let me add my my notice and then I'll be right back